Beauty, of whatever kind, in its supreme development, invariably excites the sensitive soul to tears. Quote by Edgar Allan Poe. For those of you who do not know, April is National Poetry Month, which means that I am going to talk about poetry. No, not my horrendous poetry that I wrote when I was 16 years old, but more popular poetry. Now, I'm not going to talk about the structure of poetry, of sonnets or iambic pentameter, or the difference between free verse and narrative. I don't even actually know if there is a difference. I'm going to choose a poet today that is a little bit odd, who likes to dabble in the macabre, who is quite bizarre. I will be talking about the one the only Edgar Allan Poe. Now Edgar Allan actually had a vast catalog and he wasn't just a poet. He was also an author, he wrote a lot of short stories. And on top of that, he was also an editor and a literary critic. He was one of the earliest American practitioners of the short story and some people even consider him the creator of the detective genre. An interesting tidbit about Edgar Allan Poe is that he was the first well-known American author who tried to live off of writing alone. This resulted in a financially difficult life and career. Some people don't know that he was actually born Edgar Poe. He abandoned by his father at a very young age, an orphan due to his mother's death, he went to go live with the Allen family. Now they took Poe in, but they never actually adopted him. And that is where Edgar Allan Poe got his name. One of the most common facts about Edgar Allan Poe is that he married his cousin, who was in fact 13 at the time. On October 7th, 1849, 40 year old Edgar Allan Poe died. Now the circumstances and cause of his death are still uncertain, but people have speculated that it is drug abuse, alcohol, tuberculosis, rabies, and even suicide. For those of you who really want to know, because I know some of you are curious, my favorite short story by Poe is The Telltale Heart. I guess it's probably cliché to say that The Raven is my favorite poem by Poe, but it is. But that's not the one I'm going to read to you today. I'm going to go with Annabelle Lee. And I apologize in advance if this just doesn't tickle your fancy. Annabelle Lee. It was many, many a year ago, in a kingdom by the sea, that a maiden there lived whom you may know by the name of Annabelle Lee. And this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. I was a child and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea, but we loved with a love which was more than love. I and my Annabelle Lee, with the love that the winged serfs of heaven coveted her and me. And this was the reason that long ago, in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud, chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee. So that her high-born kinsmen came and bore her away from me, to shut her up in a sepulchre in this kingdom by the sea. The angels, not half so happy in heaven, when envying her and me. Yes, that was the reason, as all men know, in this kingdom by the sea that the wind came out of the cloud by night, chilling and killing my Annabelle Lee. But our love, it was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we, of many far wiser than we, and neither the angels in heaven above nor the demons down under the sea can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee, and the stars never rise, but I feel the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And so, all the night tide, I lie down by the side of my darling, my darling, my life and my bride, in her sepulture there by the sea, in her tomb by the sounding sea. That's actually one of my favorites, too. Next to the Raven, Annabelle Lee is probably the most popular of Edgar Allan Poe's poetry. I once read that Poe wrote Annabelle Lee as a memorial to his dead wife. Now, since Poe never outright said it, we can't be sure. But if you do take that into consideration, it does transform the poem quite dramatically. It changes it from being hauntingly beautiful to tragic and depressing. Anyways, I hope that you all have a wonderful National Poetry Month. Write some poetry, read some poetry, share some poetry, and I'll see you all again next week for another edition of That Girl Tyson. General quarters, general quarters, all hands man your battle stations, all hands man your battle stations. Look at this, I'm balancing a book on my head, on my head, on my head.